question from uh, Simon. Are screw down crowns on the Zenith El Primero rainbow present to prevent accidental actuation of the chronograph? Or are they there to aid water resistance? And he's asking this about the Zenith El Primero Rainbow, but also about the Rolex Daytona. So I'm gonna launch right into that. I've got a Rolex Daytona right here. This is reference 116509. It's a meteorite dial. Now the thing about the Rolex is that the screw downs are absolutely there to make it more water resistant. The very first screw down Daytona came out in 1965. It was the 6240. And it was never there to stop you from actuating the chronograph. The last two pusher or pump pusher Daytonas, the 6262 and the 6264 came out about 1970, 71. And they were actually intended specifically for a motorsports audience that did not need the screw down security of the screw down crowns for water resistance, but wanted immediate access to the crowns for use at trackside. So the screw downs on the Daytona, absolutely for water resistance. And on the rainbow, Nico, there are two types from the 90s. There's the type with the metal bezel that's not mobile and the pump pushers, that's 50 meters water resistant. And then there's the type with the screw downs and the rotating bezel. That rainbow that has a picture of the sailing ship on the back, that watch uses screw downs for water resistance. Yeah, actually I was uh, privileged enough to have one of those in my hands just a couple weeks ago. I sold it to a good client of mine and uh, he actually had this exact same question. And uh, this was a watch that was going to help him kind of start and jump start his collection into, you know, getting into finer time pieces. And uh, I stress that exact point to him. I mean, it's just one of those things that that feature is so important, especially for somebody who may be absent minded to go to change the time and forget to put it back. Yeah. That screw down is an instant reminder of, hey, I need that security, put it back down, and always remember. So like Nico says, having a screw down can be a great way to prevent yourself from accidentally actuating the chronograph. It also has the happy coincidence of making the watch more water resistant if you have that need. And those 90s Zenith rainbows, people forget that the rainbows were available on both the El Primeros and the Elites. Some of those can be great emerging vintage dive watches. If you go out and get an old elite rainbow diver, it's a watch people don't really know about and it's a great one to own.